Hi everyone, welcome back. Been a while since I've been in here. This is the uh, auditorium and I've shown you that before, I know. But I like coming up here, it's just a little bit quieter as my brain sort of relax a little bit. And this is a sort of little amphitheater we've made just outside it. It's a quiet space actually. We've set it up for the kids. You can see we've got some different items around the room the kids can use just to relax and chill out. So today, I'm gonna run it from here so I'm a little bit more relaxed. Hi everyone, welcome back. I actually like this room as well because it's got the sort of the king's seat in it, or the queen's, depending which way you want, but I do like it. So let me just set this up so that you can we can get started and see each other working at this. All right. Well, I mean, where are we? That is the big question. Where we are we at this moment and this year? It's been amazing. The first thing is though, welcome back Cambridge International School. I hope you've had a fantastic break. I don't know if it was long enough, but I certainly liked it. So hopefully these things, this new year will bring us some new little changes. So happy new year. And welcome to the first video for this year as well, into this new uh, 2021. So I'm looking forward to it. So, but you know, I, I've just been watching the TV lately, can't help it. If you've been watching the elections, it's hard not to really, the US elections. <laughs> I can't, it's like, it's like watching the Game of Thrones, to be honest each side arguing about who is the leader when the White Walkers, COVID, is just charging down the middle of their country. And thousands of people are dying daily. It's very sad to watch. I just don't get it. But I'm also so happy to be living in the UAE. I think we all are. So however, this year certainly looks more optimistic with the vaccine developed and is slowly being distributed. Hashtag COVID be gone. Are we ready to knock out COVID out of the park? We certainly are, and we're going to. Student and staff safety, though, is the number one priority for us. Even though it may be uncomfortable as we enter this new school term as it was last time, please do what is right. If you're waiting for a PCR test, stay at home. If you're in contact with anyone that has COVID, stay at home. If your child is feeling unwell, sniffle, cold, cough, sore throat, headache, stay at home. If any student or staff shows any of these symptoms, they will be sent home immediately. So help us keep this school safe. Now let's move on to our next segment. I call it Take Three. This is the segment devoted to talking to you about what you have asked or need answering or maybe misconceptions. We have noticed between us. So, if you want me to talk on another area, please let Miss, Miss, Miss Pooja know and I'll get back to you and put it on my take three segment. So, so far on our take threes, what have we talked about? We've talked about the health and safety protocols of the school and our processes, new school fees and who they affect, teacher quality and the 10 ways we go about improving it and selecting student parent feedback and, and Western trained teachers. And finally, IGs, AS, A-level, and BTEC results and how they continue to improve, not decrease, as some parents put it. I'm not sure where they got that from. So here are today's take three. First one is communication. Now I know this is not a question, it's just a generalization. However, we have a number of comments from parents that say we either give them too much or too little. So we're a little bit confused about that. However, let's go over a few things to clear that up. First, we will always aim to make this better. I don't think it will ever be perfect. However, let's be honest, the quality, the volume, and timing certainly are areas we will continue to focus on, and certainly I will as well. Second, we do have a policy on the website under the tab for parents, policies, that does outline how we should communicate with one another, including what we say in social media, and in emails? Or do we provide parents with staff personal phone numbers? But you do get school email and the teacher's emails. It's really important we speak to each other verbally or in writing in the tone that is respectful. No one wins from nasty emails or verbal confrontations. 
Now, if you're upset with something, write it, but don't send it. That's been my test. Leave it for another day before you do. We are all here for our children, so let's work as a team for them. Thirdly, in brief, we do expect teachers to communicate with you every month, regularly, by phone or by email. My preference to teachers is by phone. So you have no surprises about where your student or your child is and their development, socially, emotionally, and academically. We also request staff not to send emails after 6 p.m. weekdays or on the weekend. We all need a break. And if they do, please do not hesitate to let me or SLT member know so we can address it directly. Unless, of course, it's an emergency. Now, emails will be responded to within 24 to 48 hours, so please let me know if they're not. However, they will not be responded to after 6 p.m. or on the weekend. Everyone needs some space. Finally, you always have access to staff via email, so please never leave a concern until the end of the term or year to address it. Let's do it now. Textbook, toolkit, whew, that's always a big one. I know it's not a question, but we get lots of comments on it, so let me go over it again, and I have done this before. So what does it look like? The, there are normally two sections to it. The toolkit is the first section, and that consists of softer items, such as online resources, stationery in some grades, and notebooks. And then there is the textbooks, which is pretty straightforward. Now, first, as mandated by KSJ, it is not mandatory to buy them. However, you do need these resources outlined in the pack so your child has everything they need for school. That's why we put it there. Now the second, no, you don't have to buy it in one go. However, it's cheaper to do this. If you buy it separately, it costs more. So that's up to you. And finally, over the last three years since I've been here in particular, the toolkit has dropped in cost. I will say it again, the toolkit has actually reduced in cost and we have absorbed that fat of 5% for the last two years. Now, even though we have reduced the cost of the toolkit, we do intend to continue to make sure we make this better value as the years progress. Number three, the return to school education provision. This term, we go into a new education provision that was decided by you. We do appreciate this is difficult for some parents. However, as a school, we have limited choices based on the rules and regulations of DHHA, MOE, KHDA, and the UAE government in order to keep everybody safe. So let me go take you through this process again. Originally, at the beginning of the year, we were going to deliver the educational program based on what it is now, one day face-to-face, -face, one day distance learning an AB timetable. However, as we only had 25% of the school that wanted to come back, we shifted to 100% of those 25% of students all the time. Now, towards the end of last term, again, as we said we would, we gave parents the option who would want to come back, because we want you back. We asked again, as we said we would. And from that, we now had 50% of the parent body wanting to come back to school. Then from that point, we gave you the choice of what form you would like it, either the AB day, one day face-to-face, -face, one day distance learning, or one week on, one week off. Now, the majority of you asked for face-to-face, -face, one day, and one day distance learning, and hence the program was decided by you. Now, further to this, we organised it so that siblings attended school on the same day. We also provided option for frontline workers, teachers, police and medical staff, and students of determination to be at school 100% of the time if they choose to. Now, we do appreciate it. this is difficult for some parents. However, as a school, we have limited choices based on the rules and regulations of DHA, MOE, KHDA and the UAE government in order to keep everyone safe. We can only have 700 people on this campus at one time in order to comply with all those health regulations. And I know a few parents would prefer to come every day. So would we. 
how are we cannot risk this from a health and safety position. We will not put the school community at risk or break the law. Please, please, please understand. We want you all to come back. It's much easier for us to have you back uh, as a logistical one and an educational one. However, we cannot until the UAE government says it's safe for all of us to. Now, I appreciate again, this may not be what some of our parents want to hear. However, I can only be transparent with you and explain those are the choices we have and we present them to you. Now, two other reminders, please sign up for the IT onboarding. This is for new parents and existing parents needing a refresher with Phoenix and how our IT systems work. And finally, Miss Ayat will be running her awesome Arabic course for parents by the end of this month. So please sign up for that as well. Now, as we begin this new term and new year, I encourage all of us to embrace all of that life offers. Let's drop the belief that life is fixed, the brain is fixed, the future is fixed. It's not. We are the only inhibitors of our success. We have the power to be great. So let's be great. So once again, I leave you to a brighter, we hope, happier, we hope, 2021. Be safe, be generous, and be forgiving.